Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Well, on today's show, Dan Paris is going to find out how to add more torque to your diesel thanks to our friends at United Fuel Injection. Your diesel could be quieter, cleaner and more efficient. Ross Duncan takes up polo, but not with a horse, with a Volkswagen. It's going to be interesting to see how good this car really is. Thanks to City Toyota, Alan Simons is going to introduce you to the all-new Toyota Corolla. The first thing you notice is that this is a much more grown-up car than previous Corolla versions. I'll introduce you to a car that needs not one drop of petrol. The iMeave is powered by a state-of-the-art electric engine. And I get a singing lesson from our Sander celebrity hitchhiker, Shannon Noel. And you're sweet to me, sweet to me on again. So get ready, because it's time for Zoom TV. The youngest child in any family frequently has a lot to deal with, and the Toyota Corolla here has always been the younger brother in the Toyota family. But younger brothers frequently want all the attention, and it's time to sit up and take notice because this younger brother is all grown up and ready to be a star of the family. The new Corolla sedan comes in three different specs, the entry-level Ascent, the SX, and the one City Toyota has lent us today, the top of the range ZR. The first thing you notice is that this is a much more grown-up car than previous Corolla versions, and it's quite a bit bigger than the Corolla hatch that was released just 18 months ago. The badge on this Toyota Corolla has been around for nearly 50 years. And for all of that half century, it's been one of our most loved cars because of its quality and built-in value for money. But we reckon this 2014 Toyota Corolla is one of the best ever built. And here's why. It stares at us from the road with more aggressive angles and a sleeker roof line. And you'd definitely be forgiven for thinking that it looks very similar to its older brother, the Camry. I guess blood is thicker than petrol in this family. Overall, it's a more mature design than previous years. And it's not really in the small car bracket anymore either. This new model is almost 10 centimetres longer than last year's model. And the wheelbase has increased as well. Now, you may not notice that quite so much on the outside, but it's on the inside you'll certainly see it and feel it. It equates to more legroom and a whole lot more space. The rest of the interior is much improved on the previous model as well. There's soft touch plastic and leather throughout, especially in the ZR. And the drive position is very comfortable. The ZR also comes with large colour touchscreen, complete with Bluetooth connectivity. USB port, reversing camera and sat nav all connected via the Toyota Link system. Now let's talk about the way the all-new Toyota Corolla drives. It's good. It's very good. And to understand why, all we have to do is lift the bonnet. You'll find the same 1.8-litre four-cylinder engine as the hatch, but with some minor tweaks to suit the larger size sedan. Good low-end torque stops it from feeling sluggish, and throttle response is very quick. You'll also enjoy the torque converter in the new CVT automatic transmission, which makes it feel like there are stepped gear changes throughout the range. So, Toyota's legendary reliability, great safety, great comfort, all the fruit, good boot space, Toyota Corolla, little brother, is all grown up. And the best place to see Corolla is at City Toyota, Newcastle Street, Northbridge or Stirling Highway, Midlands. Go to citytoyota.net.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Coming up on Zoom TV, thanks to Wangara Volkswagen, Roscoe's in the all-new Polo. That's next on Zoom TV. Now, the Volkswagen Polo has made its mark as one of the best compact cars in the world. In fact, this 
the sixth generation Polo, was voted World Car of the Year. Now, thanks to Wangara Volkswagen, we're going to be taking a look at the five-door 77 TSI. And it's going to be interesting to see how good this car really is. The Polo we're driving today has a 1.2-litre turbocharged engine with direct injection. But you do get to choose your power plant as they come with a 1.6 turbo diesel. The petrol engine is tiny compared to the opposition, but nonetheless delivers the goods with 77 kilowatts of power and 175 newton metres of torque, it's definitely no slouch. Not only does the power plant perform, but it's economical as well, delivering 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres. Now the look of the pilot is sleek and modern. Now back in the old days, you could tell quality of a car by the way it sounded when you closed the door. And I'll tell you what, this one's got it. Inside, the trim is of high quality and well thought out. In fact, it's a nice little package. I love the aluminium edging on the vents and instrumentation. The front seats are height adjustable and the leather wrapped steering wheel adjusts for rake and reach. Luggage capacity is a good 280 litres of area with the seats upright and 952 with the seats down and it does have variable height luggage floor with load securing hooks. Now we're going to do a standing start. Now their figures on paper says that this little car is pretty quick, so away we go. Wow, how about that? We're out of the box like Cathy Freeman. I can't believe it, and it's only 1.2 litres. Now this car has McPherson struts in the front and torsion beam in the rear. And if I was to say it in Australian slang, I would say this is a nifty little jigger. <laughs> From a safety perspective, of course, it's got all that you would expect. Electronic stabilisation, electronic differential lock, ASR, which is anti-slip regulation, and six airbags, including front and rear curtain bags. Now, this engine is something else. Combined with the auto, which is quiet and slick. In fact, it changes like that. The suspension is uh, not soft. It's a little firm, in fact, but it's nice on the tight stuff. And of course, that's all due to German engineering. As I drive this car a little further and push it a little harder, it feels like it's glued to the road and it handles quick changes of direction in its stride. Now, in conclusion, the VW Polo Comfort Line 77 TSI is a beaut little car. So why don't you drop up to Wangara Volkswagen, take one for a test drive. For more information, click on to wangaravolkswagen.com.au. Otherwise, click on to our site and follow the links. Now, over the years, I've had a handful of diesel engines, and I must say, blowing a bit of black smoke or lacking a bit of power or even poor fuel consumption, I thought went hand in hand with owning one of these cars. That's not the case. It turns out that could actually be a sign of a poor fuel injection system. Now, it must have been, I'm a little bit out of my league with this, but I'm at the right place. I'm at United Fuel Injection, and I'm here to catch up with Ken Ringrose. He's going to point me in the right direction. Ken. How are you, mate? How are you going, mate? <laughs> Good to Good see, to you, see again. you again. What yeah. are you looking at? This all looks very high tech, very precision. What's this? Well, what we've got here is a clean room. This is where we actually assemble common rail diesel fuel injectors and pumps. The older systems, which were very good and efficient in their day, obviously with modern demands on the environment, they've had to come up with a new type of fuel injection system. Common rail diesel is it. And that is more powerful, more efficient in all types of um, applications like commercial vehicles and sedans. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I'd love to see the process, actually. Can, can, you, uh, can you show me through? Absolutely. We've got a vehicle in the workshop here. Let's go and have a look. Well, down here, we've got a, the diesel Alpha, which has been brought in for some diagnostic work to be done on it. Oh, OK. So with the diesel, how do you know? What are the symptoms before uh, you, know, you know to bring it in? Well, if, for example, if you've got excessive smoke, poor fuel economy, a diesel knock, heart starting issues, best bring it in, and we can hook it up to our scan tool 
and diagnose the vehicle for you. Sounds like all the things that are happening with my car at the moment. So I guess it's all computer linked these days. This is what diagnoses the issues? Absolutely. We've got all the scan tools necessary to diagnose these vehicles. After this stage of the process, I mean, what happens next? Well, for example, if an injector on this vehicle is gone or the common rail supply pump, we can remove it and test it. So what we can do is take you over to our injector tester and show you what we do. Oh, it's great, Ken. Let's have a look. Well, this is uh, high tech. I wouldn't expect this. So what's this here? Well, what we do, Dan, is we actually remove an injector from a vehicle, for example, bring it across and test it to confirm that it is faulty. We don't want to go and repair an injector that's not faulty. OK, so this isn't actually the repair phase. This is actually, you're just testing it to make sure that it's, uh, it's got a problem. Absolutely. And once we've confirmed it's faulty, it goes to the other side, stripped and assessed, and then reassembled in our clean room, dust-free environment, and then brought back over to a different test machine, which goes through a rigorous test. A lot of stages. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Next time. Have a look. Yeah, lead on. Ken, I'm so impressed with your machinery here. This is, you know, no exception. But this is the end of the line when it comes to testing the injectors, isn't it? It is, Dan. Yeah, this, this unit here will test four, five or six injectors, depending on what your engine's got in cylinders. 100% um, test. There's no room for human error whatsoever. So once it comes out of here, I mean, because this is a computer test, and like you say, there's no, no human error here. Once it comes out, it's as good as new, isn't it? Absolutely, Dan. If it's not right, it's wrong. <laughs> I love that motto. Thanks for showing us through, Ken. Yep, you're welcome. So it turns out your diesel could be quieter, cleaner and more efficient. In fact, you wouldn't even know that these days a lot of cars are indeed diesels. For more info, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the links from ours, Zoom TV. Earlier you heard Alan Simon's thoughts of the all-new Corolla, but the man in the know is right next to me, Mr Wayne Smith. How are you? Aaron. Now, I want to know your thoughts on the all-new Corolla. It's been described to me recently, Aaron, as a funky-looking car. And it is. It's, it's bigger, it's better, and it appeals to a much broader market now, doesn't it? That's right. So the size actually is a great size car, and with that comes a nice big boot to put all your golf clubs in. And it's fair to say that the Corolla was aimed at a younger, um, I suppose, more feminine market, and now it's really opened up to be available to everybody, and with the technology chucked in at the keyless entry, obviously the um, Toyota Connect as well that's in involved in the system, the car's smarter than ever. That's right, and t today it's all wrapped up with their cap price servicing, so it's a fixed price for every time you service the car at $130 on all the Corolla range. Now, be fair to say that if you were a business and you're looking for a corporate car, this would be perfect because you know what it's going to cost you for the next three years. That's right, so for a business owner, we talk about whole of life costs, and so we look at the entry price, the resale value, and those service costs. So with cap price servicing, we get a great package for that vehicle. Mate, as always, thanks very much for your opinion. Thanks, Aaron. Love it. Now, after the break, I'm going to show you a car that needs not one one drop of petrol. What is it? We're well, going to have to find out after the break on Zoom TV. Once upon a time, we humans didn't have much choice but to walk or run to get from A to B. Then there was the horse and cart, the pedal bike, and then the game changer, the petrol powered automobile. Can you believe people actually said that cars would never replace the horse? But they did. Now we have what has to be the biggest test of all petrol junkies and what can only be described as the start of a very new era in the automotive industry, the full electric powered car. And like the horse had passionate supporters that believed evolution would never make them a redundant means of transport, the electric vehicle stirs up similar debate. And so it should, because most of us know little, if anything, about the electric vehicle. So today, thanks to John Hughes Mitsubishi, we're gonna take a step forward in time and imagine just what an electric vehicle could be like. But we don't have to because this is the Mitsubishi iMeve. It is a full electric vehicle and it's available for you to buy right now. And it will cut off your dependency on petrol completely. But petrol heads, before you look away, let me help you make an educated decision. The iMeve is not a big car on the outside or on the inside. Well, that is what you would be thinking if you were thinking petrol. The IMEV is built to be efficient, is built to save transport costs and is built to get you from A to B every day without ever having to stop at a petrol station. Now, to do this, you would have to be conscious of size in its design. Now, it's easy to see that Mitsubishi, with their compact electric vehicle, have focused on brain above brawn to produce a car that will propel you without the need of a single drop of petrol. Now, that is pretty cool. 
Even though the iMeV is smaller than most of the cars on the street today, it still comes with the important features to ensure you enjoy driving it and of course, stay safe. You get six airbags, electric windows, power steering and stereo system with full Bluetooth integration. Now the iMeV will give you about 150 k's per charge and the great thing is you can charge it at a quick charge station to about 80% capacity in 30 minutes. And don't go thinking to yourself it's going to be 150 k's of slow sluggish driving because this little thing for a battery on wheels is very, very zippy. One of the most impressive things about the iMeV is the savings you'll make on running costs. Just let me explain. If you drove 50 k's a day, five days a week, and your current car consumed 10 litres of petrol per 100 kilometres, you would consume on average 25 litres of petrol a week. Going on the average price of fuel today, which is $1.45 per litre, you could save around $2,000 per year. The iMeV only needs eight hours to reach fully charged. So you can charge it overnight at home using your standard 240 volt power supply or when you go out, you can use one of these. It's a charging station. They're popping up everywhere. And what I love about the iMeV is it captures the regenerative braking power and converts that into energy. So every time you slow down or brake, you're actually charging the battery. How cool is that? The iMeV comes, like all cars do, with some unavoidable running costs like servicing. But Mitsubishi has helped you understand these costs a lot better by giving you cap price servicing. Plus you get a five year new car warranty and roadside assist. It's a smart car, sure. I mean, it's not a car that's been designed with extravagant extras to get you to buy it. It's just plain and simply a car designed to get you from A to B and reduce your running costs. The iMeV is powered by a state-of-the-art electric engine, which delivers 49 kilowatts of power and 180 newton meters of torque. Now, it might be small, but it's zippy. You know, it's hard to believe that if you actually owned a Mitsubishi iMeV, you would never, ever have to pump petrol again. Now, if you think about that for a second, that's a massive achievement for the transportation industry. It's also a massive potential saving for your back pocket. Now, if you'd like to buy an iMeV, drop in and see our friends at John Hughes Mitsubishi. Go to johnhughesmitsubishi.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. And don't forget, this car is available right now. You're signing the celebrity wall. After the break, I'm with this week's a Sander celebrity hitchhiker, Mr. Shannon Noll. He's our real celebrity next up on Zoom TV. I hope that I mind. Mr. Shannon Noll. Hello, mate. Welcome to going? the back of the Zoom Mobile. No worries. I, I appreciate it, mate. I was just listening to your new song on the radio and I picked you up. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, I know. It's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I told you I was going to sing a little bit later, but I won't do it straight away. Okay, I won't do cool. it straight away. I need someone to help me launch my career, but yep. I'll keep working on this one. <laughs> now, your career, to be fair, um, you're kind of like me, you came second. Yeah, in yep, life, yep. but um, you, you're kind of winning. You're kind of out of all the uh, Australian idols and it's, stuff like that. You're... No, mate, it's been great. You know, um, it's just been a chance to, to do what I love to do, which is play music. So I'm, I'm really lucky. Obviously, the X factors and that are out now, Australian yep. Idol, he might be coming back. Yeah, all this kind of stuff. If you if you were a, a talented singer like yourself, yep. how, how what else could they do? Do you think to to get out there, mate? Um, I think just just try and write and play. You know, I mean, there's no there's no uh, better education in the music industry than than playing live gigs. If you hone that skill, then your confidence is up. Because a lot of people who are great singers go on this, these shows and they blow it because they're just so nervous. I saw you perform at the footy show. Mm. You have a real voice and a, and a real way. Even in the green room, sitting there, you're able to get the crowd in. Is that yeah, one of your mate. strengths, you think? Mate, I, you know, I think um, you just go for it, you know. I, I don't believe in um, in holding back anything. And, and you know, and I've got to go for it to get the notes in the, in the songs because they're all pretty big. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to read just how I write these songs to make them easy to sing. OK, now, if I was to ask you off the top just to sing, what would you belt out for us? So let me if you see me coming your way Cause I'm still trying to find My place and the line Do you want me to help you out? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you don't want to. Fast five questions. Okay. Ready? Okay, first car you ever owned? Uh, XE Falcon. The Canary. 
Awesome. It was bright yellow. yellow. Yeah. It was a really old car at the time, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it, it, uh, that car could talk. What is the, your opinion of the best car on the streets today? Maloo's pretty good. GT Farm's pretty good too. So. Oh, I was waiting for you to say Prius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for Prius sure. Prius Farmer, like, you know, right. chuck the bales in the, in the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion of the worst car on the street? Some of the little day was a bit ordinary, I think. <laughs> what do you drive now? I've got a WRX Subi. Yeah, it's and awesome. Last question. Okay. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, probably dying. <laughs> like everybody else. Most is, no one said yeah. that, believe it or not. Yeah, no, no one's I, was, I don't, don't like the thought of that too much. Mm. Or anyone else. But moving on, mm. yeah. I think we, we could probably chat. We'll probably drive off and sing a couple of songs yeah, together. Right, That'd be awesome. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Here we go. Yeah, we got to pump it out. Right, right, give, you, give me the song to start with. Okay. And you switch me, switch me on again. <laughs> you ready? And you switch me. No, let's just. Let's Yay! Just <laughs> that was very, very, oh, very good. No, no, you're even high five. <laughs> And we're done, people. Thank you. Thank you to this week's Asanda Celebrity Hitchhiker, Mr. Shannon Knoll, and, of course, the singing lesson, as valuable as it was. If you'd like to know more about the show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. While you're there, download our free iPhone app, made free thanks to Asanda. It'll give you access to video reviews, competitions, and, of course, hot deals from our sponsors. Now, if you've got something cool that flies, drives and floats, we want to know about it. Make a video between one and two minutes long, upload it to YouTube, and then send the link to I am a Zoom at zoomtv.com.au you never know you might feature on the show now next week on the show i'll be reviewing this the all-new rav4 cruiser thanks to city toyota until then bye for now thanks for watching and remember whatever you do that zooms make sure you do it safe and that's a wrap